Mm. What's up, girlfriends? What's up, girlfriend? Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. This is TT Nicole. Um, I'm just very excited today. Just ignore me. I am very, very tired. But anywho, that was a long story. I'm not fixing to get into that. But without further ado, butter, butter or do, butter or do. <laughs> anywho, so as you can tell by the topic, um, I am going to be talking about intermittent fasting. Yes, I'm talking about intermittent fasting. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole lot of uh, different little series. So it's going to be different videos, little short little videos at that talking about intermittent fasting, um, how much weight I lost, what I eat, um, what I ate within the whole week, uh, what I eat a day, how I meal prep, et cetera, et cetera. So I just want to keep this one strictly based on why I decided to do intermittent fasting. So a lot of people may say, what is intermittent fasting? Um, it's just basically what it is. It is fasting for a certain period of time and then you only have this little short window where you can eat so i had to ask myself this question are you disgusted with yourself can you fit in your jeans do you eat too much do you eat too late of the day do you eat late at night? Do you like snacking when you know you're not hungry? Hmm. Don't we all have that problem? Do you do mindless eating where you just got to sit in front of a TV and have some popcorn, have a snack cake? Then you turn around and have another one. Then you turn around and you're like, wait a minute, I can't fit into my jeans. Why is my stomach pudging out? What's going on? What, 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 what's going on? So, if you said yes to all of those things, then that means it's time to make a change. So, for me, it was time to make a change. So, I decided to do intermittent fasting. So, the popular one that I've heard so far was the 16-8, meaning that you are going to fast for 16 hours and then you have a whole little eight window to eat your food, right? So I do mine's a little different. Um, you can ease your way into intermittent fasting. Um, I chose to dive right in because I don't have time to play. I got to lose some weight. I'm about to be 40 years old in August and I need a change. So last Saturday was my... All right, so with OMAD, that's something that's very extreme. I'm not going to do anything like that. That is not in my lane. So my lane is the 16-8. So um, with that, I just wanted to just be clear that um, my calorie intake was about 1,000 to 1,060, 70. Um, I didn't really go over that, not because... Um, I wanted to stay within the thousand range. It's because what I ate was sustainable for me because why I stuck with my healthy fats, protein, and fiber. Um, basically, I just stayed full. I did not snack in between. Um, my uh, my snack <laughs> was an apple and peanut butter because why it had the fiber and peanut butter in it. Um, I recorded this about three different times, so I don't even remember where I left off or how much I said. But we're going to keep it cool because my iPhone was a little bit cluttered with stuff, so I had to delete things. All right, so basically within, what did I do? I basically did that every single day, you know, eight from 10 to 6.30. Boom, keep it with two meals a day and one snack. And I ate a snack that was, when you think about snack, you know, with the whole calorie type thing, you know, if you get a 100 calorie popcorn, is that going to fill you up? Is that going to do anything to you? No, it's not. So why not pick something that's about 300 calories? An apple is 90, peanut butter is between 190 and 210. So why not use that to help make you full and keep you going through the night up until the following next day another thing that i decided to change was my wine drinking okay all right so with my wine i choose to not see right now i will be 
laying in the bed, sipping on my wine, watch my love and hip hop that's about to come on. Or that's probably already done played since by the time I post this video. But watch my TV and then boom, I'm asleep. So what I do is I try to drink my wine midday before my eight hour window eating window is up because I want to, you know, burn off those calories, right? So again, I exercise in my fasting stage before I get ready to consume my first, before I consume my first meal. And then if I choose to, I will exercise again later in that afternoon after my eating window has closed. So that's other options that you can do. Um, I will not have wine past 6.30 or two hours before I go to bed. How about that? That's another good thing I changed. Um, I consume six to eight glasses of water. Um, I have a really big sunshine cup that's about equals two cups. So if I put my green tea in it, that's automatically two, um, two cups of water. And then plus I drink water anyways right after I work out. And then I drink some more water before I eat. So that's another thing. Drink water before you eat. Um, those are just one of the helpful tips that helped me out. Um, I have been doing this for 10 days now. I've completed a full nine consecutive days. I did not weigh myself today, but I did weigh myself every single day um, last week. So I was, what was it, 194.2 last Saturday um, as of um when was it as of sunday i was 188.6 no i'm sorry 189.6 i was 189.6 and then i weighed myself again um it was in monday and i was 188 so i stopped off at 188 so therefore i have lost a total of four five six six pounds already and I didn't weigh myself again today and I'm not going to weigh myself again until next Saturday. Well, this Saturday coming. So this um, intermittent fasting does work. Um, I do plan on losing a total of 60 pounds because I want to be 130. So I plan on keeping it up. I am going to do different phases, as I said earlier in the video, you know, just do little bit by little tell you what I eat and so forth because I just want to take you on my journey because I'm telling you this is uh, a journey have I gotten used to it yes I have do I feel better and healthier yes I do because it taught me how to um, basically be in control of what I eat so do I eat a cupcake have I eaten a cupcake have I eaten some jelly beans since it was Easter last Sunday yes I have I have Yes, I have. I have. I, I surely did. Um, I actually, Monday night, it was around 9 p.m. My oldest daughter is in there making cupcakes. And I'm like, what in the world is that smell? On any given day, I would have gotten up out of my sleep, grabbed that cupcake, got me some soda, and chugged that down after I ate that cupcake and went to sleep. But I waited until I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. So I waited about three or four days to reward myself with a cupcake. I felt like I can have it because of the fact that I fit it into my calories that day. So it worked out just fine. Um, I didn't gain any weight. I didn't lose any weight that next day. But the next following day, I did lose weight because I made sure I didn't eat anything sweet and I didn't drink wine. My goal was with the wine, though, was to drink it every other night. And I haven't had, not every other night, but every other day. And I haven't, the total amount of wines I've had for the whole week was three. Just three. And usually I have it every day. Another thing I wanted to point out that, you know, out of sight, out of mind, that does work. But what do you do when you are outside the comfort of your own home? What are you going to do when you go back to work? What are you going to do when you go on your social events? Like, how are you going to be able to gain self-control once you see all that cake and the goodies that you said, no, nope, I don't want to look at it. As long as it's not in my house, I'm fine. So I don't mind having the stuff in my house, like the cupcakes, whatnot, because of my kids. You know, they eat, they're going to eat. 
I don't have to touch it if I don't want it, if I don't want it. If it's something that I really, really want and I have that desire to have it, I will give myself a day or a couple of hours before eating it because I want to make sure, and do I really, really want it or is it because I just want it because I see it? So that's where I had to learn my self-control. So me t personally, I don't like the out of sight, out of mind thing because it only works for so long, you know. Right now, a lot of stuff is out of sight, out of mind because everybody is home. You're not on your jobs around, you know, these people who are constantly bringing in snacks and having potlucks and all that other stuff. I mean, come on. Does the really out of sight, out of mind thing really, really works? Well, what's the problem? You don't have self-control, so therefore... I need to put it in my house so I can learn how to have self-control. So that's one of the things that I have learned from intermittent fasting. So um, I'm not going to prolong this video, but um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear and view more videos about intermittent fasting. Just keep in mind that my videos is not just about weight loss. It's not just about hair. It's not just about me doing my little skits about the housewives of Tampa, housewife of Tampa, because there's no other wives. It's just me, because I'm the only star. Until I recruit some more people. But, um, just kidding. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was just me. That quarantine madness is crazy. But, um, yeah, that's basically all it is. Um, you know, and I do my little vlogs here and there, but... I just welcome you to my channel. So, if you want to be my girlfriend, my girlfriends, to all my subscribers, I want to say thank you so much for uh, supporting me, um, watching my videos. There's a few I have to, you know, get on and be like, yo, did you watch my video? You got homework tonight. Did you watch my video? Did you like my video? Only do that for the people that I really, really know. Just about all the people who are subscribe to my channel i know you personally but there's only a handful that i get on as if i'm their teacher you know as if youtube is homework but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and end this video on a positive note i just want everybody to stay blessed and be happy and be safe while it is the COVID 19 out there be careful and wear your mask and always love yourself love everybody love god and again love yourself bye